Oh, hello there. Right, well, I'm in my Vulture. It's fully kitted out for combat. The only thing I could get more of, really, is the, uh, the bulkheads I've got, the medium ones at the moment. But so, when I get a bit more money, I'm going to get the military-grade ones. Um, and I'm full of all the, apart from the shield generator, in all the optional slots, I've got module reinforcements, and I think they help a lot because I noticed in the previous trip that when my shields went down, even though I had the big module rein reinforcements, it wasn't enough. I still kept losing modules. So, um, and then I tried it again, replacing all the whole reinforcement packages with the module ones and had a right old ding dong went down to 40% hull and I didn't lose a single module so that's very reassuring because at least with the hull you know where you are but when you're taking um, module damage it just seems to be random you know you lose your shields next thing you know a missile comes in and takes out your thrusters and you're dead in instantly so um, I think these module re reinforcements are a great benefit to a ship like the Vulture. Right, in our um, in my previous videos I did high resource extraction sites. This time it's going to be a hazardous one where it's a little bit different. Now a Vulture can handle itself okay in the charging. hazardous one. Um, but the tactics Three, are slightly different. Two, one, engage. The main thing is there's no feds there. So... Um, you need help in other ways. Now, you can, on a one-to-one, -one, you can manage most ships there. Uh, I've, I've taken down Anaconda. Um, the elite ones can be pretty, pretty tricky. And um, you can't tackle a gunship or an Anaconda on its own because they often deploy fighters, so then it's one against two. And you can't win that in a Vulture. So... Um, uh, you can only attack those if you know what they're up to with the um, whether they've got a fighter and whether they're going to deploy it so sometimes you can kill the fighter if they're busy with somebody else and then you know that you can get the the main ship uh, pythons aren't too bad to, to kill uh, clippers drop ships can be a bit nasty faz can as well so just be careful with those. The small ships um, are quite often bounty hunters as well. And so, even though they're all wanted, don't kill them because they're easy. Because they might help you with some of the big value ships. Like when you're trying to get a, an anaconda, they might attack it first. So that gives you a better chance. Just like in the other, in the high res, when the feds were helping you, you, you sometimes get small ships helping you. But also, um, the pirates just like to shoot each other for some reason or other, which is handy. So while they're focused on each other, you can, you know, get them from behind. They seem more worried about, you know, if it's two anacondas head to head, they seem more worried about each other than you, you know, getting them from behind. So here we are, you get that mis message about system link error, that just means that no feds are going to come and get help you. So you do have one advantage here, if you actually do something to get a bounty on you, nobody cares. None of the ships, even though you've come wanted, they still don't attack you. So that's quite handy. So we've got an ASP on its own. Um, we could have a little battle with him. Scan detected. Seems to be going away from us a bit. So we've got three ships coming in. You have to be careful with wings, because you run over the feds to help you now. So sometimes they get engaged with somebody, and you can pick them off one at a time. But if the one that they're engaged with um, dies, then you're going to have all three on you. So you'd be in a lot of trouble. So we can just see who's about first. A gunship. I think that was it with two vultures. 
We've seen that. So a couple of odd asks. So. Oh, we brought up the weapons. So now, the difference here is that um, we did try it in the high res, but here you should always target the ASP or anything bigger, its power plant. Because you can save quite a bit of time. So it looks like there's two ASPs there, or an ASP, somebody there independent. I was hoping they were going to start fighting somebody, they're all lining up. So I thought I'd just take it. Oh no, here he goes. So it's a vulture. Oh, he's on his own. So you get quite a battle with a vulture, it can be fairly even. Same basic combat, combat tactics as before. The Vulture has very good thrusters, so use those a lot. Vertical offline. side, keep on the target. Same Under thing. attack. Put your pips to your. I've got. Put your pips to your shields when you need to. And I've got double chaff in this one, so I can use it much more in combat. When I was in the Viper, um, I really needed to keep my chaff if I had some difficult escapes to do. But we always had the feds there to, to bail us out. Target destroyed. So, but here, there's nobody to help. So, um, when they fire at you, as long as it's not missiles or um, rail guns, the chaff is very useful. Somebody. Let's have to that one. That other asp. And that was oh, 118,000. Let's teach her a lesson. Oops. Some targets. Yeah, you, you'll see that you can kill an asp quite quickly if you get in the right position. Oops. She's deadly, so she might be good at pointing at me all the time. There she goes. Under attack. Can't get a shot at her power plants at the moment because she just keeps pointing. That's it there. It doesn't take many shots to get it. She's dead in the water now, 10% hull still, but the power plant's gone. So to finish them off any ship when the power plant's gone, position yourself at right angles like that, and then it only takes a few shots and bang. Even the anacondas uh, go quite easily once the power plant's gone. But you have to get them sideways on. Shooting them from the front or the back doesn't help. Now, uh, T9s are very useful. He's got even got a helper. I don't know who it is there. Um, they take quite a bit of killing by the pirates. So often you'll get all the pirates all lined up, you know, five, six of them, all shooting the T9. And you can pick them off one by one. 
but you have to be careful, keep an eye on the T9 that he doesn't um, he doesn't get killed. So always check him before how much he's got left. And um, so he's like a distraction for the bad guys. They get focused on him. Oh, here's an anaconda. And he's in a fight. Master. Oh, he's nearly dead. They get over there. So this should be some easy money. Let's tag him and let him kill one. And do its job. Under attack. Typical. It wasn't quite as easy as I hoped, <laughs> but uh, we lived and we're 200,000 richer now. So that's scale, it would be quite easy. There's a clean one that's right. He's getting right on his power plant. Sub targets. Under attack. It's a shield. He's nearly gone, so two sidewinders and a vulture. Not worth the risk. So let's take this one over here. Yeah, wings in a has res are always tricky. Target shields online. His power plant's gone now. Final boost away, but he's dead. So, just use a little bit of up thrust to come on top of him. Oops, 
Yeah, you have to watch them when their power plants go, when they finally run out, they become like magnets and they just seem to accelerate towards you. So he's on his own. Not shooting anybody. His gun's stuck. Target shields online. Anaconda and a dropship on a sidewinder. So, as I said, you have to be careful checking who's in the wing now. Now, what, who are they after now? Another sidewinder. One minute. So we're on this Python now, so that's nice and easy for us. That's a different anaconda, the master. Now we could have a go at taking him on our own, just to show you how it's done. So I'll give it a whirl. So we need his power plant, that's a must. I don't think anybody's going to help us in this one, so get behind him. your thrusters down thrust yeah oh he's turning away that's good we've got to get that power plant as quickly as possible Wake. You can see he's he's going backwards as fast as he can. That's it, his power plant's gone now. So we hardly took a shot. So get up in this position. And as soon as you do, there he goes. So it's still possible to take uh, an anaconda in a in a vulture, but the elite ones have the uh, fighter so I wouldn't have done that with one of those
so he's a dangerous gunship now if it weren't for fighters I would take him on because they're, they're like anacondas they're a little bit slow but I don't know with the dangerous one I know the elite ones have a fighter but it's just too much risk is he going to fight somebody who's actually there He won't last long. I've got to shove it into the long. Under attack. So nobody from power play has turned up yet. Clipper. Again, their power plants are fairly easy to get if you get a shot at them. I've not seen that before. Oh, did that get me? Christ, he's got some missiles. can't get his power plant while he's pointing at you all the time. No, it's gone. Must have got a shot on it. So, one reason not to use missiles on a clipper. <laughs> they can just stand in front of you and the missiles go either side. T7 is 100%. Much of these adders, they sometimes take so long to kill. It just seems a waste of time. Yeah, where's his two friends? Seven. Scan detected. Target shields offline. I've always lost track of who's who now because everybody on him. Three of three, so it can't be him. There's two others in that wing. Probably, well, there's an adder, that's probably one of them. Maybe that diamond back on the side of the T7 Target gun. So something's going to be on me back in a Under minute. Attack. Yes, there you are. You can see straight away somebody's behind me. Something's a bit of 
Treff. Right, diamond back. That's not so bad. So if I've got no shields, I might have to go away. Dark shields offline. Taking damage. Yeah, before I'd have been really nervous about carrying on without shields. Target destroyed. But um, you got to just need one shot and something, you lose a module. But now, you know, I, was, I feel quite confident of going down a bit. So I've just got to wait for my shields to come back on. Just to find an easy kill. Shields online. Oh, I need a bit more shields than that before I take on a gunship. See, normally while he's busy with that um, keel back, I could get him. Keel back's just got his shields on. Oh, I don't know, it might be worth a go. Probably suicide, but let's see. Oh, someone's just blown up. Just as well I didn't. I guess this is what makes it exciting, you know, the, you never know when, you, you know, there's a, you take quite a lot of risk in a Hazrez. If it does go wrong, you can always run away, so it's not the end of the world. But, um, you know, the, you pick a target which you think you can deal with because he's busy with somebody else and then boom whoever he's busy with blows up and then they're on to you so I'm just waiting for my shields to come back a bit more to take this when he's on his own they're attacking now. The Viper and a T7. Right, was that kind of ship? Target shields offline. Oh. Let's get this power plant just in case he starts. just watching. So we'll give him a go. They used to be really easy in a vulture. But they make good at doing these turns Morning. now. Thermal attack. Gaining heat. Shields, pips the shields there. That was thinking.
target cargo dropped. That's it, he's gone. Federal assault ship in a wing of three. That's much too dangerous. Yeah, it's all wings at the moment. That always makes things very tricky. Drop ship, who's he with? Target cargo dropped. Yeah, they zoom about a bit, those fazes, and make it difficult to get a good shot at them. There we go, and his shields are back on. Target cargo dropped. shooting him. Target cargo dropped. We always get a good battle off of Faz.
protecting. I've not got much shield at the moment, and uh, you can get a right ding dong off those sometimes. Mind you, he's only an expert, so hmm, I think I'll wait a bit. I'll make him the last one unless something juicy turns up afterwards. So he's on his own. So as you can see, most ships you can deal with okay in the Vulture. You get a good battle. Hey. Don't know what he's up to. Yeah, if he was an elite one, I wouldn't bother. You get a very long battle. It's hard work. That's an expert one. Under oh. Attack. oh, that makes it easy. I was just about to shoot him anyway. power plant down to 3% in just that first little bit. So at least, oh there he goes, 0%. Where is he? So, easy python. Deadly. Again, if it, I'd go for him if I had full shields, but I could keep waiting now. Deadly and elite pythons can be a little bit tricky. Oh, an anaconda. That's going to be good if the python decides to have it out with the anaconda. So I'll just sit and watch for a bit while my shields regenerate. It's worth looking to see what the bounties are. Where is he? There. Sure, 171. Python, 267. So normally I'd go for the anaconda, but Python's worth a lot more. Target cargo dropped. Oh, it's a clean one. Just saw it in time. A number of times I make that mistake. So that's him getting it. From small ships by looks of it. Scan detected. So where's our Python? That was to slits. Oh, there's Python. So you can see we've got a right ding dong here, we've got an, that anaconda's fighting somebody, the python's fighting somebody. So I think I'll go for the python first. Target shields offline. Every one of them has got mastered this backwards power so slide, so they just keep pointing at you all the time. Why can't you just have one that can't, hasn't learnt it? Oh, I've got 
to do his power plant. So he'd be dead by now. Could have done that. Ship nearly dead. And he's fighting the anaconda. So I'm going to side with the gunship. I might get both of them if I'm lucky. quite good when you've got the burst lasers on an anaconda like that, the noise they make, it's very satisfying. So he's gone. Now I can have the gunship. He's only 23%. Get his power plant just in case. Where's he gone? There, he's pointing at me. So he can't do any damage when I'm chaffing, so he's got gimbal weapons. Taking a bit of money now, there's another anaconda. It's almost like the high res, there's so many ships joining in. Target destroyed. See what I said earlier about the small ships? These are all bounty hunters, so they're your friends. So when they come one by one, never never to take them because they're easy targets. So they're gonna help you. Okay, so I think we've done just about everything. We've done a Python, an anaconda, a gunship. So just target their power plants and keep behind them so it's not easy but the more times you hit that power plant the quicker they're going to go so let's go and see how much money we got so we didn't see oh tempting well we'll leave them for another day Frameshift drive charging. So we see how the power plays helped us as well. Four, three, um, two, I didn't see any one, power play engage. ships there. One time I saw an adder marked as an enemy with under one of the powers and um, he didn't do anything. He flew around for a bit. I thought about killing him but then I thought he might be useful to help me kill others. So he was almost like an ally, but um, he certainly didn't attack me, though that's not normal. They do normally attack you, normally when you're doing dealing with somebody else. So no interdictions. So that was 20%, whatever we got now, 20% for nothing. Well, not quite nothing, we, in, we invested 900,000 credits so we're going to get back a fair chunk of those in the first trip yeah when you're leaving the um the res fly to the outside of the rings first don't take the shortcut straight to the planet so to the uh, station because the the planet in the middle of the rings will slow you right down so try and keep away from that. So fly out to the edge of the rings, then sort of round the rings until you're pointing at the port, uh, at, yeah, at the station, and then um, then you can fly towards it. 
so that, that wasn't too bad. You know, it's a bit like the Viper in the high res. You know, the more risk you take, the more exciting it becomes, the more chance you got taking some damage. But it shows that the Vulture is nearly king of the, the has res. It used to be total king. There was nothing you couldn't deal with. But the AI got buffed back in 2.1. And now they do all these backwards power slides and just keep pointing at you. So the elite anacondas, you can't get behind them like you used to be able to. So um, that's spoiled a little bit for the Vulture. So this is probably still the best ship now for the Hazres. It used to be the FDL, but I th I'm thinking now that the maneuverability of the Vulture might just have the edge on the FDL. The FDL can kill a little bit quicker. So that's useful. And it's got... Did it get an extra module for module protection? I can't remember now. I don't think it did. So that's given them another advantage to the um, Vulture over the FDL. So now, you should be able to get, with the um, power play, three to four million an hour. So the next ship up, probably the Python. And that's an all-purpose ship. So then you can start doing your missions. And engineers. Uh, engineers are really useful. So, you know, always for me, the first step is to go through this... Whoop, forgot to ask for the This is a restricted area. You require authorization um, before you may enter. What's I saying? Let's just get the docking permission. Authorization cleared. Yeah, the Steve Python the is good for missions, um, which you need for the engineers. Scan so you've got to rank up with, with factions and things and carry stuff around and go mining and other things. So Scan detected. that gives you a new thing to do after you've done this. You know, Once you've got 1, your money for Python, I think you need down. about... 200 million or something like that for the python so four million now uh, he's looking at still quite a lot isn't it 50 50 hours probably 40 hours because you got some money in this vulture Oops. attention commander landing gear Busy not talking. deployed landing gear deployed hey right. i thought i landed squarely on it and then Landing when I was to the sides, suddenly it accepted it. Right, so first things first. If we look at our transactions, let's try and add them up. Uh, 745, 8, 70, 9, 40, 9, 50. Don't count that. 9, 50, 10, 15. Uh, it's, it's getting late. 10, 16, 50, 20, 50. Oh, 20, so it's 3, 3, 2, 50. Most we're doing quite well. Have I added up? Oh, I've added it. Oh, I lost count now. Anyway. Whatever that adds up to, now we're going to get more money than what's showing there when we go to the contacts. So here it is, here, 2.9 million. That adds up to more than the 20% more than that other money. So 3 million now, f just for, a, I don't know what that was, about 40 minutes or something like that. So, you know, 4 million an hour is now possible. Uh, it'll take you all the way to your Python. And that, you know... Probably by that time, I've taught you a lot about combat and put you in a good position to um, deal with other things in the game. You know, it's taught, probably taught you how to run away. Um, and uh, what was the other thing? Yeah, how to sneak into stations with your bounties. And um, 
things like that. So, yeah. So, that's it for now. It'll be my last one in this series. You know, the, it gets too varied after that to make another one. But I hope you've uh, enjoyed that th through to its logical conclusion. So, next thing for me will be to use my money when I get a bit more. I need about six million, I think, to get that military grade uh, bulkheads and then... Um, even with that, you can do combat zones as well, which is a bit of fun if you really enjoy your combat. And massacre missions, so that they make a, you can make a lot of money at massacre, or used to be able to, I don't know since the latest patch, but um, the Vulture makes a good uh, um, combat zone or conflict zone fighter, uh, especially with now with these module protections. So um, I can't wait to try that out. And that will get you, you know, a lot of money, rank up with factions, so you're on your way to your engineers and things. So that would be my next stage. Yeah, I'll probably just do a bit of go to some war, some systems at war, and find uh, the massacre missions. Um, for those, you just go to a conflict zone, and it's two sides, and you just have it out with each other. That can be quite exciting. And then um, when you've done that for a bit and got a load of money, then do all the other missions, carrying stuff around. Yeah. For me, trading is a bit boring. You know, Exploring can be okay, but there has to be a purpose to it. You know, and go and look for something and see if you can find the aliens or, or whatever that. Just cruising around scanning planets doesn't really do it for me. So... Um, yeah, that's it. I mean, I've been through this several times. I've got three commanders, and my top one, you know, he's got 30 billion in the bank and done just about everything. My second one, he's got about 10 billion in the bank and done most of everything. And and I've done this about five or six times. It, it keeps changing as as I keep nerfing and buffing things. You know, it comes and goes as a way of getting started. But I think probably it's the quickest way of getting going now. Um, I think I would do it every time. So anyway, I hope that's been interesting for you. And, you know, I might see you around somewhere.